What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Last time Mario fell sick after eating an invincibility mushroom that he won from the game arcade. Luigi went and found the cure for such a sickness. It's called Bean Bean Fever or Bean Fever, something like that. So today we are going to be saving Mario from his sickness and then continuing on our adventure. But before we begin, yeah. oh. you guys know the drill. Drop a like on this video. Let's get this episode to exceed 2,000 likes and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys, what is one game that you haven't played that you know you should play? And here are some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is, what is your favorite place that we visited so far in the Bean Bean Kingdom? For me, it would definitely be this place. Not in terms of like enemies or gameplay or anything. It's just, in my opinion, the most peaceful place there is in the Bean Bean Kingdom. And it's a place that I would totally want to live at if I could. Like, if this were real, I would definitely live here amongst the toads, and you get a nice view every single day. And you know you're safe from all problems and whatnot. I feel like you would be. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and make our way back to Mario. He's dying over here. Three days, he will turn into a bean. Whoa! What happened? Luigi, are you okay? No, dude, I'm not okay. I was just struck by lightning, bro. How can you ask me that? You witnessed it happen. Exactly what he said. What? You don't know what you've been doing? Uh, don't you remember? No, I don't remember. I heard you went to Guafawa Ruins to get crabby grass for Mario. D did you really get crabby grass? Oh, Luigi doesn't know. He's like, oh no, my brother, he's going to die. I don't know. Wow, I know. He's surprised that he got it himself. I know. You were hypnotized, Luigi. That's what happened. It's, it's, it really is crabby grass. Going to the frightful and dangerous Guafawa ruins all by yourself. Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are. Surely you will be a legend in this town. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what Luigi needs. He needs to be a legend amongst these toads. It's not like it's anything special, but, you know, give him that. Give him that gratitude. By the way, what do you think that thunderous noise was? Could something have happened at the embassy? Luigi, shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side. Well, at first I thought that when this thunder struck, uh, it was because Luigi's hypnotism was over, like because he reached a specific area, like he made it back here, so then the hypnotist was like, okay, you could become Luigi again. But nope, something actually went bad. As you can see, oh no, it's Cacletta's music, man. This is not good. If you guys remember what happened last time, Cacletta, you know, possessed Bowser's body. Poor Bowser, man. Every time he gets possessed by, like, all the villains who try to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. I guess in this case, it's the Bean Bean Kingdom. Bowser? It's not Bowser. See? Does that sound like Bowser to you? Excuse me, Bowser. Oh, I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm... Oh, no, you're hideous, Bowletta! And it's Fawful. Cacletta's powers has poured into the Koopa, who is king. The body of the Bowser, but the mind is all of the great Cacletta. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. I need no voice this time. I'll just steal the real deal. Oh, man. See, this is what happens when you try to master plan a plan that's better than the evil plan of the villain. I don't know what I just said, but seriously, this is not good, man. Princess Peach is kidnapped. They're going to awaken the Beanstar. Oh, wait, the Beanstar is dead. It's split into pieces. Where are the toads? The toads literally dipped. They're like, nope, I'm out of here. I'm, not, I'm clocking out right now. My job is over right now today. Where did they go, man? These guys are cowards. Okay, maybe that would be the only problem living in this town. Once, you know, something goes sour, the, the toads are just out of here. Mario! Luigi, I love the way he says it. He says it, like, in such concern. Mario! I don't know, I love it, it's pretty nice. But yeah, go ahead, give him the crabby grass. Nothing special with it, you literally just fed it to him. I don't know what it did, but it cured him, apparently. Luigi, why are you crying, man? Stop it! Explain to Mario what's going on. Mario, the princess! Mamma mia. Yes, that's exactly, you know, Mario's response. <laughs> Master Mario, Master Luigi, awful things transpired while you were on the wing, who knows what? I was saving Mario. Gosh dang it, Toadsworth. What were you doing? Tell me right now. It looks like my hobbies will have to be shelved once again. See, you old kook? All you do is care about yourself and what you want to do in life. I'm out here, you know, busting myself just to seriously get Mario back in track. Save the princess, make sure she's safe. And what are you doing? Doing your own hobbies, bro. Your highness. Oh, no, it's her. Uh, Lima. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Bowser, no, Cacletta. I mean, Bowletta. A message has arrived. Oh, nice. Look at that. It's a 3DS. I literally have that same exact 3DS in the exact same color sitting on my desk right now. 
You puny little worms are no match for me. I am only going to say this once, so listen up. If you want your precious princess returned safely... Yeah, what do we gotta do? Bring me the four pieces of the Bean Star. I will contact you once the Bean Star is complete. Wow, so now this is blackmailing us. She's holding Peach, and you know, the only ransom would be giving up the uh, Bean Star. Oh my, how has it come to this? It seems we played out our hand, only to find the game is not over. Yes, that's true. There is little we could do for now. We must gather the beanstalk pieces as Bowletta demands. Luckily, I know the general areas that the pieces fell in, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. Yep, there they are, scattered across the Bean Bean Kingdom. I have marked the areas where the pieces fell. Who will gather the pieces first? The esteemed Mario Bros or me? I will bet 999,999,999,999,999,999 mushroom coins that it will be me. Unfortunately, we don't get that amount of coins. He is a lying piece of garbage. Yes, that's what you are. Do not scoff, for I do not intend to lose. But yes, guess what happens? The Mario Bros end up collecting all the Bean Bean pieces. So therefore, yes, we will scoff in your face 24-7 a day. Yep, that doesn't make sense either. The game is afoot! All right. Master Mario, Master Luigi, we're counting on you. Heed my directions well, and you'll quickly find the Bean Star pieces that landed in the Valley. You do do bad, do do. I recommend going here and finding the first Bean Star piece. I must say, my senses have been referred to as strangely keen. So, yep, that's what we have to do now. We gotta go to Teehee Valley once again. And this is, you know, the ending of the game, technically. Like, this is it, man. After this, we are just gonna take on the boss. Like, it's, I told you, it's a very short Mario and Luigi game compared to the others. But, nonetheless, it's a great game. So, actually, I don't know if I came in here before or not. But anyways, there's a war pipe here. It's war pipe number five. I don't actually know where four is. Four, we still haven't come across it yet. But I'm sure one day we end up will. So what we could do is we could go there, little fungi town, or Stardust Field. Yeah, little fungi town is probably the way to go closest to Tihi Valley. Uh, hold on. Did I do? Do I need to like heal? Do I have enough HP? Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm fully healed. How? I don't know, but I'll take it. So, this is a pretty fun part of the adventure. I actually really like this part of the game, like this specific Bean Star quest. Uh, we're gonna be doing lots of exciting stuff. Hold on, where's the exit to this place? Oh, over here. Wait a sec. Oh! Man, I was looking at that yellow pipe. I'm like, how the heck did I come out of that and then just go north? And then I'm still not there. That doesn't make any sense. But then again, it wasn't that yellow pipe. It was a different pipe. So, in Tihi Valley now, there are going to be new monsters. I'm going to avoid them right now. I'm not going to battle them yet. I don't really think there is a purpose to battling them. Like, we really don't need to do so, but we could. I just, eh. We'll come back here when we have to find the bean pieces. There's a lot of them here that I'm skipping over, but that's only for the sake of just, you know, having like a, an after game, you know? It would be a shame to just have the game end at the very last boss. I would, I, I want to do more, but oh my gosh, it looks like Beerus and he s shoots lasers from his eyes. Almost. I mean, it's like it's like Beerus almost. It's not really Beerus. It's like a cat-like creature sort of. Oh, no! Stay away from me! Okay, well, that was scary. I almost got clipped in that cactus. Cacti. But yeah, where are we headed to, you might be asking? Well, that's a great question. You have to wait and see. Just like everybody else. Even like Mario and Luigi. Wait a second. Where am I going? Where am I going with this? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's over this way. Okay. I was gonna say, where the heck is this leading me to? There's so many yellow pipes, it's throwing me off. But, anyways, here we are. Down here is all where we needed to go. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. So, over here is the area that we need to be. Hold on, I need to get this. You guys know I love me some coins. Go ahead. Feed the Maya brothers more coins than they need. They don't need this many coins, but actually we do. We spent a lot of our coins in the last episode. Luckily, Luigi, though, was finding lots of 100 coins around. Go ahead. Get the bean, chuckle bean. Another bean! Get it! Anything else? Nope. Just, uh... I wonder what it will be. What kind of item it'll... A lucky bros badge. I don't know what that does, but we'll go ahead and figure it out in just a second. So here we are, my friends. The bean star piece is up there. But you're kind of uh, crazy to think that we're going to be able to get it with ease like that. Oh, wow. We could have just made it through here. Are you serious? 
I didn't know that. I guess the more you know now. So yeah, let's go ahead and climb this abandoned ship. It's uh, it's a desert ship, man. But like I said, I really like this part of the game. I like this in particular bean star. You don't actually get it right away. I don't think we're going to be getting it in this episode. Whoa, is this the thing that fell from the sky and crashed into the hatch with a big old thud? It's got to be. And thanks to that, the hatch is busted. This is terrible. Well, hey, whoa. Just looking at this thing sparkling and shining. I don't know what it is, but I'm putting it in the hold. Hey, no, no, no. Please give it back to me. I'll take it off your hands. You guys don't have to worry about it. This thing is literally embedded in the mountain. How awesome is that? It's very nice. I'm actually pretty excited to show off the inside of this uh, SS Chocola. That's what it's called. It's like the SSN, you know, but, you know, not really a, a functional ship. At least not yet. Spoilers. I might have spoiled it for you guys. Actually, I just did. I totally did. I'm sorry. All right, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Listen up, this will shock you. This ship is the world renowned SS Chocola, uh huh. We're hauling Chocola Cola, you hear me? Shocking, huh? Well, I mean, you guys are out of business. Clearly, these guys have become bones. Who are you guys? New deck hands? Don't even think about drinking the Chocola Cola down in the hold. Well, I wasn't, okay? Fine. And this is the captain. Look at him. He looks like, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh man, I can't believe I forgot his name. He's the Avenger. He's not the Avenger, but he is the villain that rivals Captain America in the first Captain America movie. Red Skull, that's his name. He literally is Red Skull. Hey, what's that? You want to know why the ship is in the desert? Oh, that's because, uh, see, this is a sunken ship, you know, and uh, it used to float. And uh, then, well, yup, it sank, and uh, time passed and passed, and before anyone knew, it, the ocean was a desert. In fact, it's been so dang long, just look at us. We're just bags of bones over here. And he has a globe. His office is pretty decked out, man. Look at all the Chocola Cola, too, he has just chilling in his place it's very nice i love all the attention to detail they put there and that is a map of the bean bean kingdom just you know right there very nice and again i love the lighting in this man it's just the graphics in this game are so cool i just love it so much it looks really good at first i thought man they shouldn't have ruined the original game by making this but then again like this was probably the best thing they could have done like this is a masterpiece i'm telling you that right now but anyways, let's go ahead and just talk to all the people here on the ship. So, uh, just when is the big gray SS Chocola gonna head out to sea anyways? I'm sick of waiting! Well, uh, I'm gonna tell you this, buddy boy. You're not gonna be waiting for too much longer, I'll tell you that. That guy blow down in the hole drank too much Chocola Cola. His bones got all soft and flabby and they can't even get him off the wall. Well, uh, we'll help him out with that in a sec. Should I explore that first? Yeah, I'll go show that off. I mean, why not? We'll show off that area real quick. Hey, it's a 21 block. All right, now I'm plus 10 it up real quick. You know, we always got to do this. It's a tradition at this point. Every time we see one of these, we got to collect 21 coins, you know. You might think it's not a lot of coins, but think about it. Every time we've hit it, we've collected 21 coins. And do the math. If we hit 10 of these things, that's like what? That's uh, two, 110 coins. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Wait, hold on. Let me do the math. That's actually not accurate. Wow, I didn't even do it because I, I, I realized my math was off. Let me go ahead and hit this, though. I don't even know why I keep hitting these blocks. I'm back here at the beginning again. I need to find the basement. Where's the basement? They should have had, like, a little... Oh, right down here. See, there's, like, an extension. Another save block? Why? Why would they put two of them here? You don't need... That's kind of an overkill. Hey, buddy, let me get in there. Hey, this the, the storage area is uh, this way. If you want to get in, you need a membership for this boat. And if you want a membership card, try doing something that'll help out this boat. Okay, fine, I got you. So he wants labor done in order for me to get inside there. Old bloat is even more fat of an... Uh, it was more of an uh, Ostaf. And actually, that's, I believe, a word, a real word, but not in English. I think it's like in German. Uh, then before, but that's not what they're trying to say either. I don't even know what that means, to be honest, but you'll get what it means in just a sec. Uh, and everybody's saying the crack is the wall, and the crack in the wall is gradually getting bigger and bigger. What's that? You don't know what an Ostaf is? Sheesh. It's simple. Try spelling it backwards. Ostaf. All right, do it. Spell it backwards, and you'll know what the word is. And if you figure it out, let me know down in the comment section below. So, yeah, this is, uh, ah, I just can't handle this heavy-duty brain labor! Please quit crying, I swear. This is why I hate hiring these workers from outside of the sticks. 
Hey man, I'm good with my brain. I think I am. I mean, I at least I'm told that sometimes. Oh, perfect time, and we're short some people, and uh, we hurt. And yeah, you want a, a huge jam? Are you two ready to take on a little bit of work? Great. Okay, come in here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take on a little bit of work. We're gonna play the esteemed famous barrel game. It's I don't know actually what it's called. I forgot. It's called um. If you get 10 barrel points, you can be my sidekicks. You win, I win. We all win. Want a barrel? Sure. I don't need any explanation. I'll go ahead and explain it to you guys as I'm playing with it. So, pretty much you have uh, almost 200 seconds on the clock. Um, and uh, all you got to do is use Mario and Luigi to maneuver these barrels around. So, right now what I'm doing here is... Uh, hold on. I guess I'll put it down like that. And then with... Uh, hold on with this. Wait, that doesn't even make much sense. I'll do this. Wait, hold on. This is not good. I'll do this. Uh, put it up like that. I'm taking too long with this one. That's not cool. And then move this one down. And then move it like down like that. Put it down. Put it down. There you go. So you got to use Mario and Luigi to move these barrels by clicking A. Um, that's all you got to do and then you just use the circle pad or the d-pad and just move it up or down or left or right Depending on what you want to do, but it's it's pretty easy. It's not that bad. All right We're gonna push that down right there Wait, I can't be doing that. I got to put it like this and then push that right there push that one down and then Bring that over there bring that over there bring that down right there Okay, so we got three we have a hundred seconds left. I need to be moving faster man 100 seconds isn't gonna be sufficient for me to be honest I gotta do okay what the heck game there you go and then bring that right there oh we could actually get a blue one somehow over there if I don't know how I'm gonna do this to be honest uh, there you go put that there oh yeah I, I could totally do two of them right now oh we did two we did we got seven of them how like I, I, my brains working in strange ways right now I really don't know what I'm doing but it's just it's working out for me pretty nicely so all you really do is you need to get 10 once you surpass 10 points the game is over so it's pretty easy it's really not that hard so we got nine we got to get the 10th one and that's actually gonna be pretty easy to do because we got it right here I did it with 60 seconds to spare so now we have to do 11 and gradually the game is supposed to be getting harder but I think I I set myself up pretty well by doing it in a good fashion sort of so I'm gonna move that like that uh, I guess I'll move this one like that can I move yes you can move these ones and then I'll push this one over there and then bring it back up 11 so he'll actually stop the game right now once he realizes you hit 11 points I think he will or maybe not Maybe he wants me to continue keep- maybe he wants me to continue doing this. Um... Uh, I guess I'll do it. There you go. 12. Um... Go ahead and push that one down. And we could go ahead and push this one. There we go. We got 13. I guess it's just gonna keep going. I thought maybe he was gonna stop it, but for some reason he didn't. I'm actually gonna be really upset if this was all like a practice run for him. Like, that that's not fair, man. I won this fair and square. So I deserve nothing less than 14 points. I don't know how you would even be able to get like 30, 28, 34. Like if somebody can do that, please make a video and send it to me. I would totally love to see this. Oh, oh, not bad friend of mine. As of today, you are my new sidekick. Yes, I don't want to be your sidekick, but cool, I'll take that. Thanks for your hard-earned work. You really helped us out, fellas. Unfortunately, we can't pay you cash, so instead, take this. We got a membership card. It's exactly what we needed to get inside the hold. Uh, if you ever need more work, just drop by, all right? We're always happy to welcome hard-working types like fel fellas like you. So, yeah, you can come back and play this game. Actually, I don't really know how that works. Because, like I said, you're not going to really be out here for too long. So, how are you supposed to come back and play the game? What the heck? I just left. I just left the, 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 the cruise ship. That ain't cool. There it is. That's where it's meant to be. All right, buddy boy. I got the card. No, 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 no. That's the wrong place. Again, I made my way in the wrong area. I don't know. It look, it's just attractive, man. Like, just the lights and everything. It's like, oh, pretty. I wonder what's hidden back there. No, I'm supposed to go south from there. And then keep making my way lower and lower in the deck. Hey, yo, I got it. You want to see? There it is. Oh, look at that. You got a membership card right there. Whoa. Now that I know, I ought to be able to uh, remember you by sight from now on. Awesome, dude. So I can go in and out as I please. I don't need uh, this guy to block the way anymore. Hey, can I get that bean star piece? Uh, bargain, the sparkly thing to the hold was uh, a good idea, but where do I put it? 
Here, we'll go ahead and take it off your hands, man. We work here now. Yep. Whoa, what's that? Yeah, exactly what we just said to you. You say the sparkly thing is a piece of the people. No, 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 no. Why are you guys spoiling this? Why are you telling him? Aw, oh, man. Mario and Luigi are just too nice. They're too gullible. They just give away so much use information that is they can't be giving away. They're just random people. And you say you two came here looking for it. Uh, sure. Hmm, really? You want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you, but I gotta tell you, this thing busted our hatch, and I can't just give it to you for free. Well, what do you want me to do then? All right, just get that blow off the wall up ahead, and then I'll give you the sparkly thing to you guys. Those are the conditions, you know? Conditions of the trade. So you might be wondering, how do you get this guy off the wall? I mean, first of all, he's bone. So how did he get like that big? You know, this Chocola Cola fizz seeps right in your bones. <laughs> Do you guys, don't you guys want to join me for some refreshing cola? <laughs> Why did you drink so much of that Chocola Cola, dude? You crazy boy. So you're going to make your way all the way back upstairs. And uh, the next part should be just prepared for you. If you go ahead and hit. Wait, where'd the hatch go? Uh, What? Bruh. Bruh. There's supposed to be a little something something over here. Um Okay, game, you're not really helping me out here. I was supposed to be like a like a something right here, but for some reason it's not there anymore. It's supposed to activate, but maybe I got to do something else. Maybe talk to this guy or something, trigger something to get it activated. I don't know, man, how it works. It's kind of confusing. Uh, yo, what about you? Come on, come on, have a look at this. Uh, pathetic inflate. He drank so much coke, plus he forgot where he left the bombs for blow up. Why he can't be done? Blam, 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 blam. Okay, so I think that's what you had to do. You had to talk to him to initiate something to happen. So we're gonna go back upstairs to where I was. I hope it's there. This game, don't, don't let me down, please. There it is. You see, now this piece of wood suddenly appeared. And dynamite fell out of the sky. Well, how convenient. It's like exactly what we needed to get him out of this wall. But remember, kids, whenever you're on a ship, don't use bombs. Don't ever use bombs. Don't blow stuff up with dynamite, especially when you're on a ship. Remember that, okay? But the Mario Brothers, they're not that intelligent. So go ahead and boom! We blew him out of the wall. Remember how uh, we showed off that this ship was stuck inside of a mountain of sand? And look at what happened. Sand just goes pouring inside the ship and uh, With enough force obviously it's gonna push it up pull it out of the mount or push it I guess it's being pushed rather than pulled look at all that man They're drowning in the sand Woo They've been waiting forever for this and now the ship will eventually make its way back to sea Oh, yeah, look at that man. They've been waiting for this for such a long time. Wow. That looked so cool. It's a very tiny ship, to be honest. I thought it would have been a lot bigger. Blah, what's going on here? C Captain, it's the ocean. It's an actual ocean. Oh, is the SS Chicola finally afloat once more? Yes, it is. Look at this, guys. Unfortunately, though, not for too long. And we go sinking. Yep. Ow, emergency mayday, mayday! Yep, once again, history repeats itself. How long will they be underwater before eventually the ocean dries out and then they're freed? They just keep getting deeper and deeper into the earth or whatever this planet is that they're on. Boom. And that's it. The SS Chocola is, uh, is, is done and over with for good this time. But as you can see, the bean star just floats away. So yeah, like I said, there's no way we'll be able to get it in this episode, unfortunately. Um, however... We can go ahead and show off this place real quick, show you guys what you could expect here in this area. Remember we were down here before, but we couldn't really do much. Well, again, you can't really do much in this area either, but you're just supposed to make your way out of here safe and sound. And that's exactly what I'm going to try to do without fighting any of the enemies. I'm not really a big fan of the underwater enemies, to be honest. They're just they're a little tedious to fight. So we're going to come here and burn some fire. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's water resistant fire. How does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah, that door opened finally. I wonder what would have happened if I tried opening it like prior to doing this part. Like if it would have opened. I guess it would have, but it wouldn't have made much sense. I don't know, man, to be honest. No, it's a blue cheap cheap. 
I think this is the first, I mean, I guess it's cool. It's the first time we're fighting these guys. And then we got these weird fish thingamajigs. Actually, I don't even know what these guys are. Whatever they are, they're just farting bubble gas in my face. That's not cool. We're gonna do, it's just called a spiny cheap cheap. Oh yeah, you know why? Because when you make it mad, what happens is it becomes a spiny fish. That's not cool. Watch. I'm gonna show you right now. Look at that. Oh, it is mad. But then it becomes like a, a ground monster pretty much because it's at that point you can only attack it with your hammer. So it would only make sense to do it that way. All right, go ahead. Shoot your fart gas at me. Woohoo. It's easy to dodge. There's also like those weird uh, stars, like Patrick Star or something that you could dodge. I mean, you can battle down here. They're not really that fun to fight either. They like uh, blow like kisses at you and then they're. I don't know what the kiss is to be honest with you. Oh, it lowers your pow. So yeah, it makes attacking like very hard. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Oh, you want to smack a rock in my face? I will kill you, sucker boy. All right, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do super bounce, bros. This is the best thing to do right now for us to be able to get double the damage done. One, two. Oh wow, he's still not dead. Obviously, what did I expect? He's gonna go ahead and throw a rock at me. He's like, hey, leave me alone. Nope, smack it back in your face. It's his pillow. Oh, you're gonna do it again? Oh no, he's just gonna fart. Yep, that's disgusting, man. For that, I'm gonna burn you. Woohoo! It didn't work! He's not dead! Oh, he's gonna smack something at me. Oh, kill the pillow kill you. Imagine that, dude. Your own weapon used against you and you die because of it. Well, next time you gotta be more careful. Alright. Oh no! We had to battle stupid Patrick Star. Okay, I guess that's cool. We'll do it. Fine, whatever. I hate these guys so much though. And then watch. They just start, you know, don't let the kissy bubble hit you. I'll tell you that. Like, if you do, things will get tough. Like, they're not cool. I could run away, but again, I'm going to just probably try to kill him. So then that way I don't have to worry about accidentally battling him again in this area. Woohoo! Is he dead? Wow, he actually is dead. It only took one hit. At least they're not as bad as the other guys. That's all I got to say. All right. One, two, skibbly boo! Nice and clean. 79 damage and 120 EXP points. So, yeah, you can actually grind a lot down here. However, you would have to kill a lot of enemies just in order to make it happen. But, yeah, I don't know what this thing does. Like, when you spin it like that. Literally, I don't know what that's supposed to do. If it even does anything, to be honest. Just probably a big waste of time. But, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch out for the little fishies, dude. So, what we got to do now is we're going to use Mario. Go ahead. Hit him with the hammer. And we're going to go in and out of this thing real quick to activate this, uh, these coral, to move these coral reefs or something. Where's the, where's the thingamabobber? Oh, yeah. It's going to be over this way. That's right. They have it completely hidden out of sight. So, yeah, you're supposed to be a little confused. Unless you come down to this area and explore it, then you would know what's up. All right, Luigi. Look at him. <laughs> Look how he's running. He's like, ah! All right, give me the one super, one up super. That's the first time we've gotten that. That's pretty nice. All right, go ahead, Mario. Let Luigi do his thing in the jig. And then we can light up this jellyfish. Spin! So, yeah, the next part of this game is actually going to be a very exciting part. I really like the upcoming part. We're going to learn some new bro attacks with the bros uh, in battle, I believe, and overworld for sure. And we're also going to be, I think, obtaining the first bean star piece. Maybe. I don't know. I could be wrong. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and exit this place. Actually, let me go ahead and show off what's over here real quickly. It's nothing but enemies. And you can get some, like, uh, bean bean pieces. I mean, I might as well just go ahead and pick them up since I already made it all this way here. I just don't want to battle Patrick Stars anymore. Leave, leave me alone, Patrick Star. Lots of uh, enemies here, by the way. Just a place for training if you really need it. But, you know, the Mario Bros. don't need it right now. They're, they've been pretty good in terms of levels. Go ahead. Mario, smack him. But you got a chuckle bean and then four beans back here. Okay, it's a good thing that we made it here. I would have totally left this area without exploring it and would have been upset that I didn't get to all the beans. At least it's one less area for me to have to visit at the end of the game. All right. So now what we can actually make our way out of this place. All right. Let's go ahead and do that, guys. Take this pipe to the next area. Biddle, biddle, biddle. You would think they'd just be able to swim up. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Why don't you just swim up, Mario Bros? 
But we made it, guys! Gawahar Lagoon is what it's called. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save the game right now, right here. And in the next episode, we're gonna start a brand new adventure. If you wonder where we are on the map, we are right here. See how far we've made it? We've made it so far out. We were all the way up north of Bean Bean uh, Castle Town, and now we're like southeast. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, guys, that's going to conclude today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.